So before we get started, I kind of mentioned how I just hiked in like two plus miles, right? And something that I think is invaluable as a tool, uh, especially for a streamer fisherman, you know, I'm doing straight line casts, straight line retrieves, a lot of time just trying to cover water. And you can see I'm wading in a super tall grass. It's like this stuff is up to my chest right here, right? Lower waist, whatever. Um, there's cobble, there's riprap, there's logs, there's broken sticks. Anytime you're wading on shore, and even when you're fishing from a boat, right? Because line's falling on your sandals, it's falling on your feet, you might be stepping on it. When I'm fishing in my boat, I stand on my back hatch, or I'll stand on my Yeti. It's got latches on it, and your line gets caught on it. And something that I think is crazy cool is a line basket. And what this is, this is the, the line tender from HMH, and I have a really old, uh, well it's not that old, it's probably like five years old, but it's a big plastic basket, right? And that's what I've always used for the past five years or so. And the problem with that is when you have to hike two miles, it doesn't collapse. It's always banging around, it's in the way of my backpack, um, it's hard to store on my boat, you can't travel with it, right? And so this HMH line basket is completely collapsible. You can see how thin that is. Store it in the hatch, put it in my bag. And what I love, drops down, get the nice deep volume but this back half is soft so you have this rigid plastic outside that holds its shape you got a nice big basket drainage right you got a mesh net nothing to grab onto in there but this back half is weak it's it's uh, weak is probably the wrong word but it's soft right and the coolest thing about that is because when you're stripping I want basically my rod hand here Right, so I'm gonna be stripping. You wanna strip right into that basket. Right here, on my hip, that's where you want it. You don't put it straight in front of you and strip straight to you, right? You don't have a lot of leverage right there and a lot of wiggle room. You can't move the fly very far. But putting it right on my hip and it's soft, so it contours my hip, fits snug as a glove. It's not going anywhere, it's not bouncing around, it's not doing anything crazy, and I can strip right into it. My line's not on the ground, my line's not on my feet, it's not on rocks, because there's nothing worse than trying to shoot an awesome, you know, 40, 50 foot cast, some solid structure, and your line goes, Hoo! and it stops halfway because it's tangled on your feet. So I love this line basket. Super portable, easy to travel with, easy to hike in, low profile, fits my hip, nice and low, strip right into it. So that's the line tender from HMH. Uh, really cool product. I always fish with one, so check it out. What's going on, guys? Gunner here, so I totally forgot something to mention about this line basket. Um, and, and first I want to show you my old line basket, right? So this is a nice, big, wide, plastic basket. Um, you know, super durable, they're super nice. They have these uh, raised cones in here. And what these do is when you're stripping your line in, it lets your loops fall and kind of separates them so they can't coil and knot. And when you're shooting line out, it's layered one, two, three, four, whatever. And so your line shoots out really nice and you don't get tangles, right? And then in the river fishing video from the other day, I don't have anything in my basket because I'm fishing 20 feet of line. Like it doesn't really help me necessarily to have these. But when I'm boat fishing, when I'm in my boat, what this uh, line tender from HMH comes with are these little raised coils and I'm gonna put this in here so you're gonna see I got my basket I got the coils you simply insert the little edge right here it's got a little edge to it right inside that mesh you can offset them you get two of them and they don't need a lot so boom I now have two I can take it off two raised coils in there and that's gonna separate all of your line loops and keep everything shooting out nicely and the other thing about the basket, it comes with a little pouch right here in the back. If you wanted to put a small box of flies right there, you could put, you know, two little spools of leader material in there. You could put your pliers on your belt, and now you're fishing, and all you have is a rod and a stripping basket. You don't have all this extra gear. So this is my personal preference over the big, kind of bulky, non travelable hard-to-hike-in plastic boxes. But these are great, too. Um, but this new soft, flexible line tender from HMH is pretty awesome for streamer fishing so so thanks for watching um, definitely recommend checking these out for anybody who streamer fishes because it's a lot of casting and retrieving you always have a pile of line at your feet tall grass rocks riprap 
boulders, broken twigs, sticks. If you're on the bank, when you're in the water, when you're fishing a full sinking line and it's sinking by your feet, getting tangled and blown around rocks, it is a nightmare. <laughs> Even with 20 feet of line, it can still be a nightmare. And I absolutely dread wade fishing without one. So check it out and uh, hope that helps keep your line in your basket and keep you fishing and not messing around with a whole bunch of stuff getting you all frustrated and flustered when you're out on the water. So have a good one. See ya.